bro face to you all. I'm not centered. I'm not sent. I'm centered. I'm centered. I'm good. I'm good. It's Friday. Way. It's Friday of patch 6.0. Oh, duh. Holy crap. A mundo in a fucking dog shit basket. The rage for one day. The amount of unsubs. The unsubs is real, right? Because? Because why? Was it because? Was it because? Their classes got stripped of so much. Was it because we didn't really get any new toys? Was it because of key mechanical changes to the game? No. It was for one day they could one-shot everything inside of the old raids. And that was the best time ever. Oh my god. I am unsubbing. For 24 hours I was able to defeat irrelevant content with ease. I could smash my way through it. Now it takes me like 40 seconds. It took me 20 seconds yesterday unsubscribed. It was the only thing that was good about this entire patch. You bastards, Blizzard. Stop tuning things around level 100, you douchebags. You douchebags. I don't care either way, honestly, but the amount of drama that thing has caused makes LVI look like a little, little, a little fairy dust, a little sprinkling of sugar on top. The unsub raids, just go to the wild forums. I had a blast reading it. I had a, my best thing, my best thing about the pre-patch so far was the elemental shaman who was convinced that his new mastery was in fact causing mini earthquakes. And he said he hates earthquake and doesn't understand why Blizzard would give him a mastery that causes lots of mini earthquakes. And why do I need passive AoE damage? Makes no sense, Blizz. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe to this horrendous display. And also the Warlock who said, on Tuesday I did 420k DPS. Now I do way less. I think my class is bugged. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? How many people... In this day and age of information, I am surrounded. And, and yeah, I understand I am a kind of unique case in some regret, some ways. But you guys have a computer. Or I'm on your big TV. Or whatever it might be. But we're surrounded by access to information. Warlords of Draenor was no secret. You might think that it was a secret. Right? That like it just appeared out... Whoa! Whoa! What's this? Six patch... When did this happen? I don't know what's going... Why? Can, why? Where did this happen? And there's so many people out there who have no idea what's going on. And just weren't prepared for it. They were like, this is unbelievable. I, can't, I just don't... Where's all, where's all my spells gone? What happened? It always amazes me with such information flying around the world, everywhere. And they just have no idea. Just clueless, just oblivious. Can you imagine? None of you here... Logged in on Wednesday or Tuesday, depending on what part of the ocean you you live on. And we're like, oh my god. But can you imagine what that must be like? You're like, oh, patch for a while. Weird. Well, what's going on? And then logging in and then all your spells are gone and all this shit. And you're like, what the fuck just happened? Can you imagine what that must be like? It must be like such a weird moment in life. For your gaming career to log in and just have all this random shit going on. What the? So all my characters look different? I don't understand. Understand. It must be so weird to live in that world. I wish I was in that world where random things happened, right? The worst I get is the new season of South Park has died. That's like kaboom for me. <laughs> That's like it. That's the information I don't know about. The blacklist has started again. Oh, okay. Walking Dead started again. Oh, I didn't know that. What an exciting day. What an exciting day, because that's literally the kind of information I don't have access to. That's about it. That's about it. And it's all very cool. I hope most of you are enjoying, as I am. What I can tell you, for, and there's a video coming out about this immediately after this drama time, but if you're on YouTube, it's already been out. Uh, weird time lapse, right? Is that I, for one, loved this patch, because I am completely... I don't play live anymore. Well, kind of now. But I didn't play live for months. I was just in Walls of Draenor. And believe me, it's so much better. Oh, God, it is. Just get used to it. If you're upset right now, just give it a couple of weeks. And when it settles in, you'll be like, oh, this is actually really nice. Trust me. Trust me. Just from me to you. If you're unhappy right now, don't worry about it. Once you get used to it and it settles in and it's actually like, oh, I kind of get this now. It's really cool. Ah, magnifique. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We didn't get any new ties, though, did we? That kind of sucks. Who remembers the patch where Bladestorm, the pre-patch where Bladestorm arrived? Such a good day. We got no new toys in this pre-patch. Nothing really. Just lost shit. So I can understand why people are pissed. Those pre-patches where we had the zombie invasion. Why? Oh, oh. I, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. We did get the Iron Horde invasion. Which they didn't change. Oh, I got the most hated piece of content that they allowed us to test for Wallows of Draenor. 
universally despised and they didn't change it a damn bit they were like fuck yous fuck y'all i don't give a shit that's what we've made that's what we're having it's the worst thing ever isn't it come on did anybody enjoy that fetch quest for your achieve did you <laughs> did any of you do it and you were like how many of you went and were like oh this is the thing right this is the pre-launch shit for the big expansion go and kill some scouts blow up a cannon <laughs> what <laughs> what the fuck why? It was out on on the beta, on the beta. I can tell you, on the beta, it was. Uh, and I think it came back later on, but initially it was out for less than twenty four hours, and it was universally hated by people like me who tested it. It was like, what is this? This is nothing to do with what Walls of Draenor is like at all. Besides the fact the dark portal changed color, it is total dog shit compared to what's coming. And if you want people to be excited about Walls of Draenor, worst fucking re worst thing ever. So bad, so bad. But that's not why we're here today. That's not why we're here, because it's Friday. It's drama time. It's drama time on Friday. I have four stories in front of me. Now, before we read these, some of you are sending me really dark stories, man, that are messing with my head. Only a few times in the legacy of, like, a couple of years, because I'm doing the best of drama time, which is actually really good, looking back at old uh, stories and all that stuff. But uh, there's only a few times I've had to reply, like, you need to tell somebody about this. You need to contact the police or do something like that. Some of you are me, sending me stories like where you drugged your friends and knocked them out so you could play Warcraft on their PC. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not cool at all. <laughs> like, don't send me that. That's really weird. Don't do that. That's messed up on a whole other level. We do have some messed up stories sometimes on Drama Time. That's all right. That's okay. We can push the bound. Don't drug your friends to play World of Warcraft. Don't, don't do that. That's that's really odd, man, and that's not cool. That's like illegal. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Yeah! Damn! <laughs> damn, son! Yeah, you gotta be. Let's uh, let's uh, gotta feed the addiction. Apparently so. <laughs> Apparently so. Let's uh, bring it down a notch. Uh, and people are like, I've done that. Why? Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Okay, <clears throat> let's do one with names to start off. So we got, do you even mage, bro? Which I, I, lo I love that. Uh, a fake your own death is such a go-to. You might say, you can't say that picture and then have a story where you fake your own death. It's so commonplace in WoW that it's hard to like ignore. It's like the go-to. Why come up with a real reason when you can fake your own death? I don't know why you guys do that, but I'm not saying all of you, obviously. I imagine there's at least one or two of you in the chat right now who've never faked your own death. But it is a go-to, which is really strange. Um, <clears throat> the shittiest birthday ever. Let's do that first. The shittiest birthday ever. Because shit birthdays, I'm down, I'm down. So we need a bitchy girlfriend, <laughs> a mage, a Tauren tank. Respect the Tauren tank, good shit. I'm going to have to write all these. Doo -doo -doo. We need a female Tauren druid housewife. I don't know why the housewife's in there, but sure. <laughs> and a fury warrior. And a German guild, we'll call uh, Team Delore. That could be the German guild. Team Delore. Rocking and rolling. Right, who's being the bitchy girlfriend? Who wants to be that? Who's got a ladylike but slightly bitchy name? Let me just insult you before we start. Let's go with Goosemack. 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 You bitch. Goosemack, you bitch. Uh, Major friend, who's blue? Mirzy. Mirzy's in. Let's, have a, let's do it that way. That can't, I don't wish I want to change the colours now. <laughs> Tour and main tank could be anybody. Uh, we'll go with Schultz. It's actually Schultz Bird, but we're going to rock Schultz because we've got a little Germany theme going on here. A little Team Germany, which is all good. Uh, a horny male night elf hunter. Who's green? Grant. Look at that. See, see the way I'm doing this now, right? That's going to screw everybody up. They're going to be changing their colors. Female Tauren Druid. Who's orange? Chuck. Oh, this is much easier. I can just pick a color. Oh, my God. Such joy. Uh, Fury Warrior. Who's brown? Hmm. <laughs> he would pick brown as the color, right? <laughs> that totally makes sense. Uh, no one's going to be brown. So I'll just pick... Mm, Lukey. Lukey. Right, that's it. All done. All done. Pick me! A furious bastard right here. Furious bastard right here. Uh, everyone's changed the color to brown. <laughs> so cool. I love it. Uh, that, make, that makes my chat name picking so much easier, though. Right. The, the shittiest birthday ever. I'm sure many of you have had a shitty birthday where it just didn't pay off. It's when you get, especially when you get to that age where you have to work on your birthday. That's the worst. 
When you're at, you're at that age where it's like your birthday don't count for shit anymore. <laughs> don't count for shit. You might get it off, you might not, but you kind of need to because like you don't want to take a holiday for your birthday because everybody else is working, right? You can't do much but sit on your ass in your underwear and just generally be a just one of those guys, which I totally understand. I totally understand. Hello, preacher. This is a story about my 20th birthday and how two events made this day so awful that I will probably never forget it. Never ever. I started playing Wild Bat with my girlfriend, Guzmak. Oh, who for history was a bitch. So, everybody up to date? Okay. <laughs> everybody up to date? I started playing Wild together with my girlfriend, Guz, Guzmak, back in vanilla. Shortly after release, I was 18 back then. She was my first real girlfriend, and we already had our own flat. Wow. Probably, <laughs> brackets, probably not the best idea to move in with your girlfriend after knowing her for a month. That's good advice, right? That's good advice. Don't move. I was with Emma for like two years before I did that. I'm just saying. Just saying. You know, there's, there is a, there's a waiting period. It's like anything. It's a waiting period. You might want to take it back. Keep the receipt on partners because it can go wrong very quickly. Very, very quickly. Fucking one month you moved in together. My God. My friend, Maisie, I knew him from my Counter-Strike clan. Very serious. Told me about WoW and it sounded awesome. Guzmak often was pissed at me because I spent hours playing the PC games. You moved in with her? She doesn't like you playing the PC? I bet it was the first thing you came with, right? She turned up with like all sorts of homey shit. Probably had a sort of curtains, right? <laughs> curtains. I can live without curtains. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm glad my wife does that stuff. My wife likes to decorate and I love her for it because I don't give a fuck. I, I can live without a headboard on the bed. I can. It's noisy in some situations. And frankly, it's just a wall with padding. I feel like a crazy person. I can live without a headboard. I can live without curtains. I don't need the stress of trying to make shit match. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so when it comes to all that shit, she turned up with the curtains, pillows, cushions for the couch, right? You need a cushion, really. I mean, occasionally when you want a nap. But I don't think about far ahead. And you turned up with your PC. You turned up your PC and you were like, grab the keyboard because that bit I can sacrifice, but I will hold the base unit, right? We're moving in together now. It's time to understand. Hold, just, just get out of the way. This is where my desk will be. This will be my man zone. You are not welcome. Your curtains and cushions are not welcome in my man zone, okay? <laughs> Headboard makes noise when you're jerking off. You read my mind. You read my mind. Guzmat was often pissed at me because I spent hours playing the PC, but I wanted this game so bad, so I told her. Oh, you done goofed so hard. You moved in with her a month and he told her, why don't you check out this game too? Maybe you will like it. She agreed. It's, it seems like the easy way out, doesn't it? It seems like you just, it's the easy way out. It's the easy way out. And it's, it's just a whole bag of worms. Sometimes, sometimes, before everyone jumps down my throat, there are relationships that work out in WoW. Caveat, just saying. She agreed. And because we only had one PC, your PC, <laughs> we created one account together. If, if you're the only gamer, PC gamer, Master Race Forever, if you're the only PC gamer, you don't invite someone else to play the game with you, right? Don't do that. I'm just saying. Buy her a laptop. Bad one, Dell, hopefully. <laughs> a Dell laptop, something like that. The initial plan was to level one character together. <laughs> Good God. Oh. The initial plan was to level one character together. So we created a female undead rogue. Maisie joined us and created an undead mage and we started leveling in good old Tirisfell Glades. It was a great evening, that first evening. Now, the first day when you're leveling together and the separation hasn't occurred yet, you know, the divide in levels and I've already completed that quest and you went to the bathroom so I thought I'd collect a few of the things and I left group because you were getting the loot and I wasn't. You know, you know what happens, you know, you had to go for dinner so I did a couple more quests and I leveled and then I did a dungeon because you were gone from longer than you said. <sighs> It was a great first evening. We had a lot of fun, although I had to rotate with Guzmak. <laughs> rotate out. 
But that quest was dead easy. That quest was dead easy. Now I get to do another quest. No, you don't. We said one quest each. But my quest was just to talk to the guy quest. That's not fun. We were soon recruited to the guild, the Dolores. The German guild. And all three of us leveled for the next few nights. Then on one night when I came home from work. Oh, shit. Then one night when I came home from work, Guzmak told me that she'd called in sick at work today and had enough of the rogue. So she started a night elf hunter. On another realm? Oh, no. You're never going to level together. Fucking. I thought, I thought initially that she uh, that she was going to stay at home and do loads of leveling. Right? Come back. Come back in like your rogue's suddenly like five levels high and you don't know what's happened. You've missed the whole zone. But no, she was like, yeah, I don't like rogue. I'm just going to roll somewhere else. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. I thought, yeah, whatever. Whatever. And we continued sharing one account, playing two different characters. <laughs> but this turned out to be very hard, did it? Because we both started to become more and more addicted to World of Warcraft. Good God. The nightmare. <sighs> the leveling process was fun on the one hand. I had a great time with Maisie and my new guild. I met many awesome in-game friends. On the other hand though, it really sucked because I couldn't play as much as I wanted. And Guzmak and I started a lot of arguments about who's about to play. Do you both finish work at the same time? Who gets on first? I can tell you as a father... You need a rotor. Like, who's getting up with the kid in the night? Who's doing it? Because I'm not doing it every night. And she's not doing it every night. So there's got to be a system in place, man. There's got to be a system. What do you do? Do you have to watch television? What do you do in the meantime? If it's not your character... Like, previously, you could watch your character be leveled, right? That's all right. You can see what new skills she's getting for your character. And you're going to get to play it soon. And maybe there's things you want to see. And that's kind of okay. But when she's leveling something else in a different realm... Do you have to watch television? Because I can think of no worse punishment. There's no worse, punish worse punishment than having to watch, like, normal television. <laughs> because I hate fighting, I usually gave... Okay. Because I hate fighting, I usually gave in. I'm playing! Okay. Okay. And she had a lot more in-game time than me. But I want to... Okay. I'll just go to bed then. See you tomorrow. She even reached level 60 before me. This bothered me a lot. And I started playing late at nights when she was asleep. <laughs> as soon as she comes to bed, you pretended, didn't you? You don't even want to have sex. You just moved in together. You don't even want to have sex. You don't even want to. You're like, lay there like that. The one eye. And as soon as you hear that snore, just, just gonna get a couple of hours in. Just gonna get a couple of hours in. Just a couple of hours. <laughs> she reached level 60 before me. It's bothered me a lot and I started playing late at nights when she was asleep. Brackets, my job training suffered a lot from this. But that's another story. I still always was lagging behind, and when I dinged, she already had her tier zero and started raiding MC. Oh, she was... What was the tier zero hunter? Not giant stalker. Not dragon stalker. Shit. Somebody will know. What was the tier zero hunter set called? Something stalker? Hmm? Oh. I did my best to catch up, often playing till late at night. A few weeks later, the Dolores started raining too. It was awesome and I loved it from the beginning. I soon... Beast Stalker. Got it. I soon became a guild. A guild officer. Too bad I could only raid one or two nights a week because I was sharing my account with Guzmak. And she was raiding the rest of the week. You got two nights and she got five? Balance. That's... Is she Celeste alone? Oh, ho, 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 shit! Yeah! Hey, it's balanced. You get two and I get five. Balanced, motherfucker. Tweet me. Tweet me. Come at me. Come at me. Get tweeted on, son. <laughs> I soon was an officer. I wanted to raid more often. And when this topic came up, she instantly raged at me. 
<laughs> she raged instantly. I'd like to raid more. Cook the dinner. Are you listening to me? I know you want to raid more. Go and cook the dinner. Off you go. You get to raid on Sunday. That's when you get to raid. Telling me that her precious guild needed her as she was so, it says it in like big capital S, so important because she was the main trank shotter. Fuck yeah! Number one trank shotter in North America, bitch! Get in my level! You, you, can't, even, you can't even do that, Magma Dar! You can't even do that, Magma Dar, without me there! Right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Magma Dar ain't going nowhere unless I'm there. I'm the main trank hunter. The main one. Yes, yes, there are eight hunters in my guild, and we all have trank shot, but I, I am the main trank shotter. So, deal with it. Deal with it, right? That fucking magma die, he's, he's a cock block, son, if I'm not there. Cock blocked. Like, I, I can't even think of anything else. Cremagus, right? Was it just magma die and Cremagus? Was that it? <laughs> just magma die and Cremagus? That book of trank shot, though, is so important. I gave in. Okay. Okay. Spending most of my time when she played in TeamSpeak on our new bot. Second PC. Oh, whoa. Oh, but you haven't got a WoW account. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bought a new PC. Still only one WoW account. <laughs> Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Oh, the three drakes. Cool. I didn't play ones back then because it was shit. But there you go. At least times have changed. <clears throat> and I newly bought a second PC. Listening to my guild rate, guild mates. Scoring one first kill after another. Motivating the guys. Motivating the guys and cheering them up like a freaking mascot. You got it guys! <laughs> you got shut up. You don't even know what we're doing. Yeah, I do! I can hear it! I can hear it! Interrupt the healer! Interrupt the healer! Dude! Dude, interrupt the healers! You got this! Oh, you white? It's okay. It's all right. What's happening now? What's happening now? Like, living vicariously through TeamSpeak? My god. I finally had enough and bought a second... Oh! Right, I'm gonna tell you. He bought a second account. What do you think his plan was? What do you think his plan was? He bought a second account. What do you think his plan was, though? <laughs> oh, Johnny's all sad. Oh, don't get sad, Johnny. Don't get sad. I bought a second account for her. I don't think so. Do you? Do you? It's for her. I bought you a new WoW account. She agreed to use the new account from now on. I'm shocked. I'm as shocked as you. I'm as shocked as you. I'm as shocked as you. I genuinely am. She agreed to use the new account from now on and started a female Torrin Druid on a new server. I finally had my peace. At least I thought so. <laughs> you know what's coming you know it from the moment he suggested it from the moment he, he should have just bit the fucking bullet dude Jesus Christ but only a few weeks later Guzmak told me that she decided to stop playing the druid and wanted her hunter again since she missed her guildmates and druid sucks I was pissed at her, but again, okay. Gave him because she didn't stop bugging me about it. Okay. Why didn't you just use the account and just be like, fuck it, I'm going to re-roll because of my guild. The guild wouldn't give a shit. They were all right. So the old situation went on for the next few months. I had to share the... Months! You've got another WoW account sat there. Fuck's sake. So the old situation went on for the next few months. I had to share the account with her again. Missing nearly all Blackwing Lair first kills. Goose and I drifted apart. And she spent a lot more time with her guildmates than me. 
Especially, ah, oh, no! Especially with one of the hunters of her guild. Who is it? A guy named Grant. Hi, Grant. Welcome to the story, Grant. It made me a little suspicious that she did spend many nights with him in TeamSpeak when I was asleep. Well, because you were awake, though, right? Because you were waiting to get up and start playing. But she wasn't even coming to bed anymore. Fucking double wrecked. You will lay there like, she's got to be coming up soon, right? I need to go and... I've got to do my dailies. And I've got to go and get that Twilight Cowl shit going on from Silithus, man. I need to get my fucking shit sorted. I need to get it wired down there. I've got, I've got like, so many robes. I just need some cowls, dude. I need some cowls so I could spawn some bosses and get my rep up. <clears throat> But I didn't care that much since I was focused on work and wow when I could. One weekend, she told me that she would drive home to visit her parents. Oh, shit. When she came back, she told me the truth though. She didn't visit her parents. She did in fact rock the Grent. Grent got rocked. I felt like somebody had kicked me in the balls. Even though we drifted apart over the last months, I still loved her. And I was heartbroken for the first time in my life. She cheated on me. I decided to break up with her and stayed at a friend's house for a few weeks. Leaving all my things, including the PC. No way did you leave the PC. I would be walking. I'd be unplugging my PC. I'd be like, you cheating bitch. I'd be fucking wrapping it up. I'd be like, you cheating, cheating bitch. I'm fucking out of here. I'm taking my damn PC with me though. You better believe that. You better believe I'm not going anywhere without a PC. What am I supposed to do at my friend's house without a PC? This was a few weeks before... Not on Christmas. A few weeks before Christmas. A few weeks. I did spend Christmas with my family. And on a Christmas Eve, I received a text from Goose. She told me that she missed me so much. And that she's so sorry. <sighs> what did you do? The inevitable... The inevitable text message arrived, right? We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. If someone sneaks, the, the grass is always greener. She's gonna, she's gonna troll off and rock the Grant, who turned out to let's face facts, Grant, a bit of a floppy bollocks. Uh, obviously, goes without saying. And then that inevitable text message arrives. You've ever broke up with someone? That text message be coming. It be coming. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep the PC. Ignore the text. Boom. Me being the stupid idiot that I am, called her and we had a long talk. Was it about how there was a dick inside her that wasn't yours? Probably in her mouth. Just saying. Just saying. I, I don't get that. Can't do it. Someone cheats on me. I'm out of there. I can't picture that. Oh, God. It's like kissing a guy's nuts. Not doing it. I really... <laughs> I really don't know why, but I forgave her. Oh, God. Okay. We should get back together. Okay. I really don't know why, but I forgave her. And we came back together. I moved back in and we continue to share the one wow account. <laughs> Let's go back to our old ways of the wow account. Let's do it, man. <laughs> oh, God, no. Ooh. A few weeks after both our job trains ended and we became unemployed, ah, we moved back in with our parents again. More than 300 miles apart. Bummerine? That was your plan? With the f You got a flat together? Without employment? Like, proper employment? It's pretty hardcore, dude. You took a leap of faith there, for sure. You don't, you don't just go around renting a place. Well, I suppose you had to move there for the job, right? Okay, I can sign to kind of see where that was coming from. I forgive you. By this time, my guild had killed Nefarian as the third guild on the Horde side. We continued in AQ40, but progress wasn't easy. And we couldn't get along. But we couldn't get down Battle Guard Satura. Y'all can't press taunt? What? Battleguard Satura? Really? No one wipes on Battleguard Satura. It's a gift boss. Get him, it's the poison dude. You gotta be careful of. He's the son of a bitch. Not Satura. Come on. Come on. Nobody's fucking up on Battleguard Satura. It's so easy. Uh, not that I know of, anyway. Anybody wipe on Battleguard? Really? For reals? Did you do that? I can't, I can't imagine how. Really? Does that exist, that thing? Ah, I'm not being ego, I just never heard of anybody wiping on that boss. The guild leader told us that Nax Ramus was about to go like that. Hooran, eggs. Hooran's the bitch. The guild... <laughs> it's okay, guys. 
we might be wiping on Battle Guard Satura. But it's but that's okay because Nax is coming. So nobody ever. <laughs> so nobody ever. It's fine. Nax. Oh well, you didn't know, did you? Nax is coming. It's fine. Nax Ramus patch was about to go live in a few days and because of the loop. There was much better. <laughs> we should just skip AQ40 and go raid Nax. You're gonna have a bad time, okay? You're gonna have a bad time if you can't deal with the ability. To can you imagine, let me, I'm not saying that's these guys, but can you imagine the situation where a guild unable to down Battle Guard Satura was to meet the Four Horsemen, for example, and see how that went down. I would like to see, well, I imagine it'd be a very short video, but I would like to see it in some fashion. I think that could be kind of interesting to see that. Our main tank and raid leader, Schultz. Schultz is the raid leader of the German guild. Schultz disagreed with this idea, but we did it anyway. We did it anyway. In this period, Guzmak and I didn't visit each other at all. <laughs> Since we were both so focused on WoW, I'd love to meet you. <laughs> you guys are crazy, man. You crazy. You live with this girl. You don't even meet each other because, well, Nax is coming. We can't, we can't meet up now. Fucking Nax. And he's... Are you still sharing a WoW account 300 miles apart? Is that what? Is that what's going on here? For real? It's been like two years, dude. It's like, it's been forever. What the fuck? I even became the guild master of the Dolores. When we called each other, it was mainly to discuss our WoW schedule. Missed you, missed you. How was the raid? Good. How was yours? Did you get any loot? Good. See ya. <laughs> Okay, I'm only I'm only joking. A few days out before my 20th birthday, Nax launched. We went there and Anubarak kicked our tier 1 and 2 equipped asses for the next few raid days. I imagine he did. There was a raid scheduled for my birthday. When Guzmak called me that day, she, as usual, started the conversation by trying to beg that she could raid that evening. <laughs> she only calls me to get a WoW account. <laughs> oh, dude, what are you doing? What the fuck? Oh, it's, it's my girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> Put the phone down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, but, even though we were together for more than two years at this time, she forgot my birthday and didn't congratulate me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's a bummer. That's one of the shittiest birthday things ever. I finally lost my shit. I yelled at her. I was so pissed that the only thing she could think about was wow. I once again broke up with her. But who gets the wow account though? A few minutes later, Maisie called, sounding very upset. Very, very upset. He told me that Schultz and a few other guys, mostly healers, had quit the guild and joined the number one guild on the Horde side. Nax Ramus, baby. Nothing crushes a guild. Quicker than Nax Ramus. It really doesn't. Nothing crushes the servers. Nax, you don't know why Nax was Nax. Why its legacy is up there. It crushed servers. Players from everywhere were being picked and taken and grabbed. There was nothing else. It was just Nax. That's all it was. There was nothing else. Crushed and destroyed everything in its wake. Forget people inside there. Because that gear was so freaking good. The reason was that they thought I was... <laughs> they thought it was stupid. That it was stupid to skip to just skip one raid tier. I was crushed. Happy days. Nax the guild killer indeed. They blamed the four horsemen, but it was everything. Everything. Guilds were just fell at its feet. I was crushed. Everything was so fucked up. I just broke up with my bitch girlfriend and our guild was about to disband. I couldn't even be there for my guild because I had to share my account with my now ex-girlfriend. Oh my god. You still shared the account? After you broke up? I'd be taking that WoW account. I'm just saying. Who's paying for it? That's the question I put to you, sir. Because it's not in the story. Who's paying for this WoW account? Who is dropping those dollar dollars every month? That 15 
Dollary Doos. Who's dropping it? Who's dropping every month? And all of this happened on my birthday. This was all so fucked up because I decided to take a break from WoW for a few days. When I was browsing the WoW forums, I discovered something amazing. Character transfers were now possible, even from account to account. I immediately transferred my rogue to my second account and was finally free. I told Goosemack that she could have the account from now on. Deleted her number and never spoke to her again. Lesson learned, sir. I was able to save the guilds. We merged with another guild from our server. Our progress remained pretty good. And even though we had to recruit new players like... Chuk. Chuk. A housewife and female Toran Resto Shaman that died on every Cthulhu attempt... When I asked her what's going on, she told me that she's very sorry, but she had to iron the laundry and couldn't pay much attention to the raid. What? <laughs> what well, mouse in one hand, iron in the other? Hire her! Hire that woman! I want her here and now! That's awesome! That's awesome! On the fights that she did do well, did she burn the clothes? What happened there? I'm, I'm, doing, I'm raiding and ironing at the same time. Just saying, man. Just putting it out there. Hey, don't question me. I'm multitasking. I'm good at it. I'm good at multitasking, that's all I'm saying. Oh, another person went by the name of Luke. A 14-year-old Arc Fury warrior. He was the first player in the realm with Thunder Fury, and he was one of those warriors that skipped the Berserker Stance quest and learned about stances when he was already level 60 for a few weeks. <laughs> Classic stuff, I love it. Classic stuff, I love warriors that did that. Berserker Stance, that quest is really hard, bro. I'm not doing that, it's a really hard quest. Gotta go all the way to your Jamba Isle or whatever it's called. It's too hard. Loads of warriors did that. You'd be surprised. You guys don't even know. You don't even know with your with your free talent system and your you just given to your skills. You don't even know. You don't even know, guys. You don't even know. You guys got easy mode. We soon got rid of those ass hats and cleared AQ40 and even the first five Nax bosses before TBC launched. That's solid. Nothing wrong with that. The girl still exists as a casual raid girl. That's bang up. It took me nearly five years to get over Goosemack, but I finally did. Found a new girlfriend, and we are together for three years now. The best thing about her, she hates playing video games. <laughs> success. Success. So we had a success at the end. Oh, what a bitch portion of your life, dude. I'm glad you fixed it up, though. That's awesome. What a great story. What a great story. So let's fire back from the girl's point of view. Let's do that. Let's fire the girls back. Can't a girl just play the game? Let's do that one. Let's do one for the ladies, about how creepy the guys can be. Creepy, creepy guys doing creepy, creepy things. Hey, if you fall madly in love, can take some time, dude. <laughs> I didn't see Berserker Stance until I was already capped. <laughs> There's a meme there somewhere, right? There's a Bane meme. <sighs> Does it even exist anymore? Does it, Berserker Stance? Now I'm really sad. Doesn't even exist anymore. Sad times. Okay. No names in this one. <coughs> can't, a can't a girl just play the game? I often think the girls feel that way sometimes. The more level-headed ladies amongst us, who we have many in our community. Naming no names, though. No, you are. I was first introduced to Warcraft. Not WoW. Warcraft. By my father when I was about six years old. Good lad. <laughs> get him in early, right? You gotta get him in early so they can start learning to heal. You gotta, gotta, gotta ease him in early. Get him in so it's the only thing they know about. It's the only thing they know. He used to link up with my uncle and play campaigns until the early, early hours of the morning. So this would have been Warcraft 1. Orcs and humans, I assume. Orcs and humans. Against my mother's wishes. He'd upset my mother that my father played so much, so of course, I took an interest. <laughs> he taught me how to play and showed me some cheat codes like, Today is a good day to die. But told me that they were part of the game. And then would act so excited when I would win. What a daddy! What a daddy! What a glorious daddy. What a guy. What a guy. Give her a cheat code, but when she won... So proud. So proud. As a daddy's girl... I loved that it made him proud, but to be honest, my favourite part was poking peons until they yelled, Swobu, or threw up. <laughs> Swobu, so good. Fast forward 13 years, the summer of 2007. I was living at home and had just finished my freshman year in college. We lived in a farming community. Does anybody else hear Amish when they say that? Or is it just me? Is it just me? Farming community, Amish. That's all I hear. 
We lived in a farming community. We didn't even have enough residents to establish ourselves as an actual town. <laughs> Amish, right? <laughs> we had internet, kind of. It depended on how hard the wind was blowing. Or if our receiver was lined up correctly. <laughs> can you get, Can I play WoW tonight? No. Too windy. Too windy. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Can't do it. Can't. It's too... It's too it's a, there's a gust. There's, I think it's all fine. I think it's all fine. We can't play. It might be okay. I don't know. I don't know. Is it lined up right? I don't know, man. It's too windy. I think our rate options were measured in kilobytes... Kilobits per second. My mother had since banned computer games, video games, and a TV in our house. Amish. It's Amish as fuck, right? There's a town like that 10 minutes from me? No way. Look, that is, that's, uh, that's America for you. <laughs> that's America for you. My mother banned video games and TV. Motherfucker. The last computer game I had played was Put Put Goes to the Moon. I was doing homework on my Mac laptop. Don't judge. I had nothing wrong with Mac laptop for work. And I saw an advert for World of Warcraft. Suddenly I was overwhelmed with nostalgia. And decided to see if this game was as was was the same game I remember my dad and I playing. I couldn't load much of the videos on the Warcraft website, so I decided to just download the game and see. It took me four days. <laughs> four days! 96 pure hours of downloading! Never moved. Never move from that download screen, because what if it ends, right? We said, don't we? What if the download bar just suddenly ends? You don't know. You've no idea. 96 pure hours of downloading and trying. Trying to make up excuses to my mother about why my computer needed to stay on all night. The game was ready to play. 96 hours of downloading. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I logged in and made a night elf priest. It took me a while to realise that the characters running around me were controlled by other people. And I could not control them. I was constantly clicking on people, trying to send them to places. Eventually I followed the in-game tutorials and learned how to cast spells, how to loot and how to talk to other players. I didn't do many quests at first, I was more interested in exploring. I met up with a night elf rogue who was brand new to the game too. We made our way to STV. All of the monsters were marked as question mark, question mark. I figured this was the end game content <laughs> that the other people have been talking about. This must be what they were talking about. Stranglethorn Vale. Ooh, the Nessing Wary Safari. Ooh, this must be end game. We would run a few feet, be one shotted, accept our res as far forward as possible, then run a few more feet before dying, all the way to Booty Bay. My road friend had told me that we could ride a boat to another continent and there would be Horde there. I was so excited. Oh, I miss those days. I miss those days so badly. So bad. There's another continent? But this one's huge. Oh, yeah. The first time. I don't care who you are. And there's bound to be somebody who's going to like try and poo-poo this. But the first time you learn of the Deep Run Tram, you have to find it. You have to find it. and You have to ride it. Don't you? You do. If someone tells you, well, there's a tram that runs under the ocean towards the other city, you're like, oh my god, I have to find it. And you go hunting for it, right? You're in general, where's the tram? Where is it? So good. So good. Those moments, so fucking good. So fucking good. You know what you wish? You'd give anything to do that, wouldn't you? You'd give anything to go back and think that way. It was so good. Yeah, the deep run tram is amaze balls. As soon as you know it's there, it's, you've got to go and find it. I was so excited. Finally a chance to prove myself as an alliance. <laughs> I shall travel the ocean and defeat the herd. I was on a PvP server. I saw the second any of the high level horde caught sight of me, I was dead. And by a high level horde, do you mean the people in Ratchet who were like level 15? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Just idiots. Get out of here. I didn't even care. Don't even care though. Don't even care. I came back a few days in a row just emoting rude gestures to the horde and then running for my life. It was exhilarating. <laughs> that is the newbiest shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Ugh, makes rude gesture and then runs away. <laughs> Imagine you're at Ratchet and you're like getting a quest. And it's like this fucking level five or some shit. Giving you crap. Giving you crap in the bay. Bummerino. 
It took me about six months to make it to level 60. Well, to be honest, it might not have taken that long. But I hadn't purchased the Burning Crusade, so I don't know how long I was level cap for. I just remember thinking that level 60 was the longest level of my life. Oh, it was. I don't think there's been a level in the game that was longer than 59 to 60. Anybody agree with that? Was 59 to 60 still remaining as the longest level to get? Unless you cheesed it, of course. But naturally the longest level. I don't think there's ever been a longer one. Again. I don't think so. Drama number one. I was solo at this point. Flying solo. My road friend had gotten his girlfriend pregnant. And she made him choose between her and the game. <sighs> Tough choices. Tough choices. Hmm. Child or the game? Child or the game? Hmm. That's a tough one. That's a, that's a noodle scratcher. That's a thinker. That's a thinker. <laughs> you have to give me a minute. Hmm. <laughs> he initially chose the game. Oh, of course. I'm glad he helped. <laughs> I'm, glad he, I'm glad he got his priorities straight. I mean, that, I mean, he was a rogue. Let's be fair, though. He was a rogue. So, you know, we should have expected it. He initially chose the game. He then admitted that he was madly in love with me. Priorities are all are all in a row. He's got all his ducks lined up. Got them all ducked up. I mean, he, yeah, he's got a child on the way. So the best thing he can possibly do is choose the game. And then try and get with someone else. Because rogue, am I right? <laughs> rogue style. <laughs> rogue style. He then admitted that he was madly in love with me and wanted to be together in real life. He had cancelled his lease and wanted my address so that we could start our lives together. Whoa! 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 That's a hell of a sentence, isn't it? <laughs> Look, I've cancelled my lease on my house. Just give me your address and I'll be there tomorrow. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I have never logged off so, fa so fast in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I think the pressure got to him. I think the pressure got to him. Whoa. I had never logged off so quick in my life and I didn't log back on. <laughs> I'm staying away. And I'm done. At least you had, you had the level head, right? You read that and you went, and nope. Escape. <laughs> Ironically, I just pressed escape and completely closed the story. <laughs> it's okay. Found it. <laughs> that could have ended very badly if I couldn't have found that story again. Found it. Found it. Remember the title of the story. What a guy. After returning some months later, months later, and asking some questions in chat, a Janai hunter whispered me and helped me purchase the Burning Crusade. <laughs> You're not level capped. You're not level capped. I'm just letting you know. You're not level capped. There's, there's a whole other... See that pole? <laughs> This is a whole, whole different shit. There's a whole different shit coming out. He invited me to his guild and gave me a crash course in WoW. What a guy. Up until this point, I'd simply put gear on if it increased in my health bar. <laughs> I considered it an upgrade. The stam though. Look at the stam on this. Woo. Luckily for a clothy, it didn't give me too many bad options. Yeah, if you're going to fuck up with your gear, cloth is the best way to be. If you're a clothy, you're all right. He told me about add-ons, quest helper, dungeons, using higher ranks of spells, and even gave me... Oh, oh, lower ranks, I would assume. Oh, we're using the lowest rank all the time. Did you never upgrade? I can't remember. In vanilla, if you learnt a new rank of a spell, did it update on your bars? I can't remember. Did you have to drag it? Using higher ranks of spells, and even gave me money so that I could buy a mount. That is correct. At level 60, I still did not have a mount, and I had been running everywhere. After Lich King dropped, I still was at level 70. But I had followed my mentor to the Horde side. Finally, I had made it to level 80. No, it did not update. I didn't think it did. I didn't think it did. Drama number two. Let's hope it compares to drama number one. A guild took me under their wing and I made a lot of great friends. The trouble started when the guild leader, a Blood Elf Warlock, never trust a Blood Elf Warlock, started coming on to me quite strongly. I knew there were two different there were different kinds of personalities that played WoW. And some would exploit this for personal gain. A girl would never do that. Would you girls? Some of you. 
I'm the opposite. I even considered rolling only male characters because I did not like the attention of being a girl. Wow, brought A girl in WoW, brought. So I made it quite clear to my guild leader that I didn't want his advances and they were not appropriate. Very nice. What a lady. No, thank you. No, thank you. That didn't stop him. Surprisingly. Oh, playing hard to get out here, you minx. <laughs> Play hard to get. Some guys. That didn't stop him. His living girlfriend was also in the guild. A troll shaman. Ah, oh, crap away. She began whispering me and yelling at me for talking to her boyfriend. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> no, I don't want anything to do with you. Another whisper. Stop cheating on me. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? I told her exactly what I had told him. That the, the attention was unwanted and it needed to stop. Stop talking to him. I don't want to talk to him. She didn't believe me. And she went fucking crazy. She fought back by canoodling, well spelt, with other male members of the guild. <laughs> That's it. I'm fucking everybody. If he's talking to her, I'm fucking everybody. I'm fucking him. I'm fucking him. I'm fucking... That's it. Pussy for everyone. Everybody gets pussy now. That's it. He <laughs> gets chicks like... He <laughs> gets like... I don't know what's going on. I don't want any of this attention. What the fuck? That's it. Fucking everybody. It's over. Game on. Game on.